Hi everyone, and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hide or cover up the satellite imagery that the sim pulls from Bing Maps. And why would you want to do that? Well, if we take a look down here, you can see next to this apron I've got that there's a nice little aeroplane just sat here on the edge. And I want to get rid of that, it looks a bit unsightly, so... First idea I had was maybe we could add a sim object there and plop a plane on top of it, so... If I just go into the sim object, uh, object type in the object panel here, and search for Cessna, just add that on here. You can try and drag this over and rotate it so that it looks right, uh, get it positioned just about right, but... I think that's pretty close, but... And to be honest, if you do zoom out, it looks pretty good, like you can't really tell, but if you were down here on the apron taxiing around, you can still see the ground texture there, and it doesn't look too good. Um, so next thing I thought, maybe I could use a polygon to do this, like when I was using the polygons before I saw you could add textures on the polygons, so we just try that and add a polygon quickly around here. Over on the left on the properties panel you can see we have an option for surface here, and you can add in surface, and if I just search for grass in here and pull up a grass texture, but polygons are a bit weird that they seem to be transparent, like the grass is added but you can still see the plane through it so obviously that's not really ideal either. So the best tool for this job for covering up the satellite imagery is actually an apron. So if we come over to the object type and select apron and just pull out a default apron. So I'm just going to draw around this holding left control and left clicking to add some points. Like so, it doesn't really matter if it's too rough. And then we can see we've got a nice apron here. Now the first thing you'll notice is we can still see the plane through here. And that's because of ground merging. So you just want to untick the ground merging checkbox in the properties box there. And that goes away. Next, let's add a grass texture to this apron. So if you go to your material editor, and if you don't have the material editor open, come over to the tools option in the toolbar up here and just check material editor there and it'll open up for you. Search for grass in the filter box here and you'll get all the options for grass. And then what you want to do is you want to just try and find a grass texture that looks right for the area around your airport, or the biome. That you're in. So when I've been experimenting with this and if you tick the bitmap preview you can have a scroll through and see which one looks right. I found that uh, grass ground 02 was the best for around my airport so if you click apply there and click the surface in the properties there you'll see it applies to that. And at the moment this isn't much better than the polygon. We have some quite harsh edges and it definitely doesn't blend in. It's not really much better than it was before to be honest. So to blend this in, you might initially think you want to add some, oh well, reduce the opacity on the apron, but then you'll see, you obviously get start seeing the airplane through, so opacity is not the solution here. What you do want is some fall off. So if you come to the fall off text box here and just type a number in there, so I'm going to choose 15, that's reasonable. And when you're doing anything with the textures in this game in developer mode, um, you do sometimes get these bugs. You see if I zoom in, it disappears there, but that will be gone when you actually put the project into your game, so don't worry about that if you're seeing things like that. So now that's nicely smoothed off the edge here, but it doesn't blend in very well. You can see I've just splodged a big patch of grass down there. So the next thing you want to do is just come over to the Enable Coloration tick box here and just give that a check, and we'll get these RGB sliders and also a little box you can click to get a colour picker. So what we want to do now is just try and find a colour that most closely matches the grass around your airport and where you're trying to cover up. So this takes a bit of trial and error, so I'm just going to find a nice colour that matches the ground. So I've just come up with this colour here and it doesn't look too bad. I mean you can spend as much time as you want trying to match that, but it's close enough. And if I just deselect the apron there you can see um, it looks a little bit better and if I just minimise the apron box from here if I zoom out, you can't hardly see that at all, and if you didn't know it was there, you probably wouldn't notice it when you were taxiing along. It's much better than having the aeroplane down there. So that's all there is to it. You can use this little trick to touch up those problem areas around your airport, like where there's aeroplanes overflowing the aprons, or the other little blemishes that you just want to get rid of on the ground textures, and it just saves you from creating some kind of custom aerial. This is a lot simpler than doing that. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up with these tutorials as I release them. If you've got any questions, or if there's anything in particular you'd like me to cover in future videos, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you've enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching!